Hello Libra, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 1st, going to the 7th of January 2024. Okay, so this is the first week of the new year, so I'm very excited for you guys to see what's going up. What's going on? What's going on in your life? What's the energy at? Alright, let's see. Um, I'm going to dive straight in. Alright, let's see. Sorry, I'm like going a bit mental and crazy today, but it's what it is. Hoping it lifts your vibes up some way or another. Let's see. Oh, I definitely feel it. There's a spirit in your in the room here with us as soon as I started your reading. So that could just be your spirit guides, guardian angels. Ugh. I feel like there is... Do you ever feel like there is something like lingering around you that's not so good? Some of you could actually benefit from some sort of spiritual cleanse. I also feel like for some of you, there is like an energy. Like somebody could definitely be watching you. And I don't know if they're sending you any good energy, to be honest. Um... I'm just I, protect yourself is what I'm trying to say. And by the way, nothing that anyone sends you, no juju, no you know evil eye can really control your life. At the end of the day, you have more power than any entity or any um, bad influences. So just remember that. Call your power back when necessary. But anyway, for Libras, this deck is going to tell us where you are currently on your journey. So let's see, for Libras, please, spirit building blocks i love that this card is all about independence all right especially for those of you who are entrepreneurial this is a really good card about building that legacy of yourself if it's not entrepreneurial then it's still okay because this is still an amazing card because you're building the foundations of your future okay so whatever your legacy is to you you're really taking action within this week and in this area within this moment of your life you're really trying to um build yourself up here this is really good for those of you who want success fame fortune or just want want really big things in life you're actively making the effort you're making decisions here uh, that really will benefit you in, in your future it's not just now it's in your future so make sure you are paying attention to what you let into your life it does matter it is important make sure you have boundaries when necessary make sure you know when to say no to people all right but either way this is a very beautiful energy coming from you because it speaks of determination it speaks of confidence this speaks of um the same clarity here which can make sense to you like you know what it is that you want and you're working it out anyway um be actively you know chasing your goals which is lovely to see All right for libras for this week what's the overall energy all right you have simplicity so for some of you um less is more you might just want the simple things in life, okay? But simplicity is kind of saying that regardless of what it is you want, this is definitely a week of where you're going to feel like less is more, okay? You also have opportunity on the bottom of the deck here too. Uh, this could be just kind of like emphasizing the fact that within meditation, I think actually by, not meditation, within manifesting, sometimes less is more. Sometimes you just need some quiet time to yourself here with the simplicity, that feather here just says that, you know, your spirit guides are around you. If you do see white feathers, then this can just be a confirmation here of them saying that they are around you. All right, but you're calling for simplicity this week. Okay, let's see. So if you guys have some major plans this week in general, they're saying, all right, keep it simple though. Because if, we're, yeah, actually that's a very big message I have to say. A lot of um, things that we do around New Year's or a new energy is like, I'm going to do this, 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 and that. And I'm going to do this as well. Like, I'm going to have this huge thing. I'm going to do this big workout. I'm going to do this every single day. <laughs> Sometimes the thought of so much to, can do, to, sorry, the thought of so much to do, Libra, can actually be the biggest reason why you actually delay it or fall out of habits that you want to build for yourself. Whatever it is that you're doing, less is more. Take one thing at a time. Take Do one thing a week even. Like one thing to do, new thing to do, that you really want to do a week or a day. Whatever it is to you, less is more. If you want to stick to your goals, if you want to build this empire for yourself, whatever your empire is, this future for yourself, sometimes less is more there's a book that i read that um speaks about like compounding like, i think it's actually like atomic habits could be a really good book for you if you want to build better habits small habits that end up being really impactful for you okay so again less is more sometimes it's just about making things easier for yourself anyway let's dive into reading i would just explain the book to you otherwise so like make sure you read it 
All right, let's see. Let's see. Fun Libras, please. Spirit. Let's see. Initial H could mean something, but I'm like seeing health. Health. I'm gonna split the deck for you, and then we'll take the bits on the top. All right, that's how we're doing it around here. Let's see, current energy for you guys this week emperor energy. Love that position of authority, taking control of your life. If you are entrepreneurial, this is incredible. This is amazing. Even if you're not, you are taking action, all right, you are chasing dreams, figuring out what it is that you want, building the empire, okay. Very powerful stuff coming in in your energy, okay? This is about action, drive, aggression sometimes. Make sure you let out steam if you need to. Go for a jog. Go meditate. I don't know. Like, uh, this is a very big buildup of energy, and it's really in a really good direction. So make sure you take advantage of this power that's coming through for you guys this week because, you know, it's powerful, all right? It is powerful. Let's see what your challenges are this week. Seven of Cups, a little bit of confusion. You might have a lot of options around you and that could be the confusion for you. It's like, I don't know what to do. You know, I'm in control of my reality. Great. And I want to do things, but I have no idea what it is that I want to do. So again, you could benefit from really weighing up pros and cons of things. You could, um, you know, really benefit from, um, you know, tapping into your intuition to figure out what it is that you want to pick out the options in front of you. For some of you, there could be too much going on and that could be burning a fire. I know for me, if I think too much, I actually want to vomit. Like my brain goes overload and my body just takes the, you know, you know, takes the impact of that. So for you guys, and then I end up like not doing anything. So if you don't want to risk burnout, if you don't want to waste this beautiful, powerful energy that's coming in for you guys this week, don't focus on too many things. Focus on one thing at a time. Then build on it, okay? One step at a time is really going to be very important for you guys, all right? Because it can really help build momentum. So if you want big things in life, you don't have to start big. Sometimes smart, starting small is the best option, all right? If you imagine it like stairs, you want to be up here, you know, to get to the goals. You have to build each step at a time, okay? You can't just start jumping up there and hoping that somehow you get there. Small little things are much more impactful and also quicker too. All right, contrary to everyone's belief. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see what to focus on for you guys this week as a Knight of Wands. This is all about, you know, um, getting new experiences. This is a card of travel. So for some of you guys, you could benefit from some sort of like, I'm seeing spiritual retreat or some sort of travel coming up for you guys. Or that could be the goal that you guys want. You just want freedom. All right. You want to be able to have the space to do whatever it is that you like. Okay. Um, this is a really nice energy to focus on because it's also about your beliefs. You guys could be really looking into your beliefs, trying to figure out, you know, what it is that you want, what it is that you want to go towards. Okay. This is a really nice energy of confidence conquering and going and chasing things so again lots of action in your reading um focus on that focus on it in a positive aspect that the knight of wands is sagittarius energy is it's optimistic okay so um use that optimism focus on that optimism um, and focus on the fun of things rather the complexities of it all right in terms of your recent past, my lovely Libras, you have the Queen of Wands, been feeling a bit more um, confident lately, which is nice. Feeling a little bit more creative. You guys could definitely have been allowing your creativity to shine, tapping into creative stuff, looking after your body a little bit more. Queen of Wands is an attractive queen, so uh, this tells me you guys are definitely shining bright. You are beautiful, okay? Working on your confidence, this is also about having ideas and ambition here. So that's really nice. You guys could have been dealing with a fire sign in the past and that is significant for whatever reason. Um, but let's carry on moving forward here. To me, a lot, a lot to do with just gaining confidence and kind of gaining momentum. Uh, what's very interesting is we have a very lovely divine feminine in the past. You're now stepping into an emperor energy. So you went through that period of like a self self-care you're still probably doing that you're still reaping the rewards of that effort that you put into yourself in the past but you're now in a position where you feel stable and you really want to go towards some things right anyway let's dive in let's see what else is here let's see what's going on um let's see what your strengths are this week okay 
the sun, positivity. You guys are feeling very optimistic around this time, okay? Feeling zen as you can see here. You guys could be meditating more. And if you wanted to know a meditation app that makes life a lot easier, then I have a lovely free trial down below to Aura. Have everything on there, breath work, guided meditation. They have ASMR, hypnosis. They even have therapy on there. They have everything on there it is worth giving it a go so if you want to tap more into being zen um, and maybe looking at the brighter side of life then definitely could relate to um, you could definitely benefit from trying out the free trial and you get 25 percent off if you continue um, to go along with the membership and keep the app all right but anyway the sun card this is your strength you are able to look at the positives through life regardless of what life throws at you you are still able to grow to blossom to shine you stand out libra all right you naturally stand out and it's not just because you guys are ruled by um venusian energy okay which is all about beauty and love you guys naturally attract attention Okay, so sun card is about your, that being your strength. You could use that as your strength if you're trying to create a, a business, for example. Use it to your uh, abilities. Use it to your, yeah, as your strength. All right, with the sun card. But anyway, they like that about you. The universe likes that about you. And they're just highlighting that as being your strength for this week, okay? Being able to look at the positives despite what's going on here. When it comes down to your near future, Libra, you have the Nine of Cups. This is wish fulfillment. When it comes down to love and relationships, I do have to say when this card comes up, it looks like someone has a crush on you, could be expressing it in the near future, okay, Libra, which makes me, which makes a lot of sense given that you are shining, all right? But when it comes down to just things that you desire, the things that you want, things that you need, all right, deep down, um, this is telling me that you will... Um, you will get those things in the near future, okay? The things that you're working on heavily now, you will be receiving and getting in the near future, okay? Things get clearer for you. All right, let's see. When it comes down to your emotions this week, you have the high priestess, you're keeping those hidden. <laughs> it, you are feeling very intuitive this week, okay? And you can actually benefit from doing some shadow work actually with the high priestess. You could have some really deep stuff going on, dealing with the subconscious mind, dealing with deeper emotions. This is quite a good energy to be in. Difficult, yes, but a good energy to be in to kind of work through some shadow work that may be needing to be addressed, okay? But from the looks of it, I think it's okay. But make sure you're using your intuition um, and keeping things simple, all right? Just trust your gut, see where that goes, and then think about the next thing, okay? Don't overload yourself. Uh, mentally because that will also stop you from hearing your intuition okay now when it comes down to and also you guys could be hiding some feelings here with that high priestess being there you could be just biding your time you don't really want to let people know what it is that you're feeling here so uh, that's that's all fine uh, if, if it's necessary let's see what's going on in your environment and your swords now eight of swords being in your environment tells me that some of you might feel quite stuck in an energy this is more to do with your environment, so things outside of yourself, whether it's a job, whether it is, you know, a certain situation in general, relationship, friendship, whatever it may be, a little bit feeling quite trapped or a home, a location. There is a desire to change, but the first thing to be able to understand how to do that is you must understand that you are not stuck. It seems like you are, absolutely. All right, there are problems around you with this energy, but it says that you have, when you take the blindfold off, all right, when you tap into your intuition, it will guide you where to go. All between all of these problems are ways out of it, okay? So just remember that. You're never stuck. There's always a solution, all right? Uh, an affirmation I used to say to myself, I still say to myself now when I go through a difficulty, like I'm scratching my throat chakra here, is maybe affirmations are very important for you, okay? Make sure you speak things into existence. If you're speaking entrapment, you're going to feel even more trapped and life will, you know, kind of bring that energy in uh, or make you feel even more like that, even if it's not the case. Um, what I was going to say is something I always told myself and it really kept up my motivation, to be honest with you, is like, either way I will succeed. And that was my motto for so long when I was first starting up my business, my company, when I was going through a lot of crap, you know, and I kept telling myself, this is going to look really, really good in my autobiography, you know, so it's like the things that you tell yourself really help you to navigate through problems that you go through in life. When I hit hardships, I didn't immediately go, well, that's it, life is over. My situation is just, you know, my, my company is going to go to an end. That's it. My career is it. That's all of my career done. I'm never going to get where I want to go. 
All right, didn't sit in that energy either. I immediately looked at a, a, a solution and I said to myself, either way, I'm going to be successful. So I'm open to that being a possibility rather than closing myself off to it. So again, you could benefit from hearing about that in your environment. There's always a solution, be open to it. Say either way, I'm going to find a way, all right? And that will be the thing that happens for you. All right, when it comes down to your hopes and dreams this week, Queen of Pentacles, this is you being stable. This is you being grounded. Some of you might want to connect a bit more to nature within this week, okay? And I would definitely recommend you to go and do that. This can also be your hope and dream when it comes down to living luxury, whatever that sounds like or is like for you guys. All right, this is you being rooted deep, feeling stable in your life is something that you are desiring, okay? When it comes down to your outcome for the week, Ace of Cups love so some of you guys definitely are finding a newfound self-love all right new acts of self-love coming in here but also for some of you you will be finding love or deepening a current connection all right ace of cups is also a really good um lesson with this uh for you guys this week is that you're really understanding that you have to fill up your own cup first to be able to give to everyone else uh, so maybe that's something that you guys are dealing with at the moment all righty Let's see. Let's get some extra messages for you, Libra. All right. You have broken bridge. You could be breaking bridges with others, as they say. It says unsuccessful outcome to a problem. You have something important, such as a new job or a raise. And you have a wish is granted. So even though something is unsuccessful, a wish gets granted anyway. So in whatever area of your life that may fit in, uh, we do have wish fulfillment in your, near, in your near future, so it only makes sense. Alrighty, my angels. I love you guys. I wish you all the best. I hope this reading helped you in some way. Let me know down below how it resonated. If you like the reading, make sure you give it a really big thumbs up for me. And subscribe if you wish. Um, I send you all my love. I wish you guys all the best for the week ahead. And I hope to see you guys next time. Alrighty.